Hello. Hi, everyone. It was go time. But then the... The overhead camera stopped working. I don't know why. It's probably the introduction of the Marty cam. The two can't coexist. Luckily, unplugging it and plugging it back in again made it all work all nicely. Yeah, that's live, kind of. Yeah, so Marty's kind of here. He's in a... He's in a chair phase at the moment. If his bed's not on some kind of chair, he's not sitting in it. It's not ideal. He's kind of in a dark cavern, but he's kind of there. And yeah, he uh, is reacting to every single tiny little noise. So hopefully I'll settle down a bit. Hi everyone. Should we do some gallery opening? There's some kind of waviness around my head today, isn't there? Hey Matt, hey Ian, James, Steve, Skycroft, Daniel. I'm excited too. It's not even been a year actually since the last stream. It feels like it's been ages ago though. Hopefully we can get Master Gallerist and do all of the best things. So here is our big setup on the main board, all the artists that are available in that. And over on, if my buttons work properly, which I hope they will. There it is. Here's our gallery. So to be master gallerists, we've got to get 35 points out of these cards. So this is the stuff we want in the gallery. This is the stuff we want to have sold. So it's looking like we don't really need sculptures. Because have this stuff in your gallery, that's 15. Sell these two lines, that's 35. That's usually the way I do it, I think. So we need one sculpture out of all of this, but the usual way we could do that is, hopefully it's showing up. Oh yeah, Marty's in the way of it now. You can kind of see it on its easel. The masterpiece for this game is a sculpture. So I think we could get away without discovering a sculpture artist at all and interacting with them in any way. We've got a sell a couple of paintings, one 3D art, one photo, have in our gallery two 3D art and a picture, and the sculpture can come from here. Hopefully we'll win the auction. Oh, Marty's picture's just, Marty's uh, camera's fallen off range. We can see kind of descent. It was a very last minute setup to have uh, Marty join us. See if you can, <laughs> there he comes. Yeah, that's roughly it. Yeah, leave it like. Just tighten it up and I can I can make it a bit lower on the the settings. Oh dear. I think I think the gallerist out of all of them is the easiest one to get on board with. But it it depends, doesn't it? Rach would disagree. You don't think that the gallerist is the easiest no. to learn? Kanban clicks with Rach. We have got Marty books as well. They've been away for no reason, really, and for too long. So yeah, we're going to be running a gallery, taking some simple actions. This is the one as well. I, could, I mean, the, the early deluxe editions, when it was Vito Lacerda himself doing the solo modes, they are more kind of... Things to reduce elements and get in your way a little bit. They're that kind of bot. So hardly any upkeep. But it's not like playing an opponent. So it depends which side of the things that you want. Whereas the newer ones that are designed by David Tortzi, all of his solo modes, whether it's for a Lacerda game or not, are all about feeling like you are playing a multiplayer game. So they are more complex because of that. It's usually like... The decisions there, like it's pretty... After a game or so, it's easy to get to grips with what's going on but yeah there's, there's a lot more involved in those solo modes this one all that will happen in our solo mode there's four worker placement spots in the game each worker placement spot has got two options on it you can take an executive action as well at various times but all the bot will do on this turn we will start somewhere he will start in the opposite space every turn he will go a space clockwise and leave a worker behind that's it there's a little bit more to it than that, but generally he'll do something when he gets to this location. But generally there is no upkeep or stuff to think about 
with what the bot player is doing. It's all about you. But it also means there is only you, so you've got to promote all of these artists by yourself. Because to, to be considered a master gallerist, this is one of uh, Vitel's things of having criteria in the game, rather than a particular score we need to get to. We need to have 35 money out of those goals that I showed you. We need to have five reputation tiles, so we will start off with one. But we can get more from coming to the international markets as well. We need to have five of them. Three masterpieces. So masterpieces are works of art that are made by celebrities. They need to have gone all the way up their reputation track. That's when they become celebrities. They also stop making art at that point as well. So, yeah, you better get their artworks before you make them celebrities. So maybe since we want three 3D art, potential to make one of the 3D artists a celebrity because we'll be wheeling and dealing three of their things. Money still matters you've got to have the money to do the things but there is no monetary value on success in this but it generally means if you try and go for master gallerist the best rank in the game and you don't get it you're probably not getting any rank because you might not have the money you need to get to the other bits i'm going to just for now we've seen him for a bit the marty cam clearly needs some revision we'll uh, we'll work on that for the next stream because it's just going to keep falling down right then oh yes before we get started uh, if you can support the channel that'd be amazing it's how i'm able to be here right now uh, there is patreon there is ko-fi they're linked in the description and uh yeah support would be really really appreciated and we have a vote every month as well and this is i mean i think they came third and fourth or something like that but this week the streams are the gallerist and kanban ev they come from that patreon vote which I'm pretty pleased about, really, because I really want to play the gallerist. I want to play Kanban too, but I think I'm going to get sacked in that. Hopefully, we can repeat the previous successes we've had in streams. So I need to pick one of these locations to start in. It's going to matter because we can't do the action that we choose to go to, because you've got to choose a new space on your turn. And Lacerda is going to start in the opposite space to us. So usually what I do... And I don't know if we break habits in this. I usually start in the discover an artist, get an artwork section, because that means Lacerda starts over here in the international markets and doesn't get an action, which means it's going to take him loads of turns until he comes back here. Because when he comes to the international markets, he gets involved, he puts meeples down here, he'll start putting them down in the auction and we might not win the masterwork, he'll take loads of um, influence tiles out eventually and we want to get five of them. So I generally go here because it's the longest possible time for him to get back around to the international markets. And out of, like we could come here second still as well, I don't really mind being delayed on that, and the influence tile that's here if one of our angles, they usually, they're kind of geared up towards looking at the bits rather than the, the middle. But the tile here, if we can get it out and onto our board and stuff, the reward is some influence and some money, which is points at the end, for having 3D art. And we know that we need three of that at least. So that's decent, I think. I think that's a good one to start with. So that goes on our player boards. In this spot, if we have three pieces of art in our gallery at once, they will dislodge that, and we will get to put it down here. We'll have to send people out of our gallery. But, um, yeah, we will we will get a benefit for that, and it will count towards the points at the end. So there we go. That's the, that's the bit of setup that I need. Oh, thanks, Steve. Yeah, the bot, the bot seems to be working at the moment, but it's strange that it doesn't come up for everyone. Hey, one versus the board. The gallerist needs an automa. I I think it's my favourite because it hasn't got one. I do really enjoy, like, sort of Weather Machine and the old Kanban playthrough, which will be refreshed tomorrow. But yeah, I do love those um, bots and things, but it's partly because it's the gallerist, and I love the gallerist, but it's just because there is no upkeep, because it isn't an automa. Like, I'm just thinking about my turn. And he's still getting right in my way and activating executive actions and stuff that we'll see. So I need to move somewhere else now and take an action. These influence tiles just out of the game. 
that I didn't take. We've randomly got people in our galleries. I think... I don't really want to go to the international markets this early. I don't want to promote an artist particularly right now. I think we could get a contract. So over here, you can either get a new contract or you can sell a piece of art, which you have to already have a piece of art and a contract to sell that art. So we're not doing that one. But I'll come over here. When you move from one of your action spaces, you can leave one of your assistants behind. We start the game with two. We can get loads more later. I'm going to do that because if your assistants are dislodged, then you can take a kicked out action if somebody like so Lacerda will come around. We know that on his turn, he's going to dislodge me straight away and then he's going to next turn go to this space and dislodge that assistant. He also leaves workers behind, but we can take kind of executive actions. There's a, a really nice thing you can do where you can slide down to the next pink bit of the influence track to take an action in the section you just got kicked out from. And if you can be a bit of an influence whiz and leave yourself in a position where maybe you've only got one more than the pink spot, it only costs you one influence to take a whole action. So if we could get ourselves in that position, it would be lovely. I think there is potential to, you know. Probably not before his next turn. So up here, we're getting a new contract. These are the contracts. They're things we want to sell. So on our dealer card here, the things that we want to sell, we're looking at these two lines, I think, for the goal. Is this... Uh... Angle too far along a bit. There we go. So we don't want one selling sculpting. They're not up here anyway. We want to be selling a couple of paintings, one 3D art, one photo. So we can be thinking about that, leading us in a direction. The other thing we can be thinking about is the bonus on the card. You can have an executive action on your turn, and that executive action can be to pop an assistant on one of these spaces and get that action. So this gets you another contract. This gets you a free assistant. This will get you influence based on the pink and white meeples that are in your gallery. And this will get you a new visitor to your gallery. See, the, the brown ones are investors and the pink ones... Who are they? Are they... I don't know. Influencers, we'll call them. I can't remember the proper name. White is celebrity, right? The whites are the ones that can help the... I don't know if they are celebrities. We'll call them that. Brown's Investors, I remember that one. So yeah, what do we want to do really early on? Hey Christian, your favourite Lacerda game? It's my favourite, definitely. Fights between Kanban being my favourite Lacerda game overall. But Gallerist is absolutely my favourite solo one. You have the original Kanban and love it. Is it worth it to get the new Kanban EV? Well, if you want a solo mode and you want an Automa especially to play against, then it's like Kanban EV adds that. Like, I suppose mechanically, there's not a lot kind of in the game that changes fundamentally. It's the same thing. There is like the supercharged expansion, which I, I remember like when I did the playthrough, I, there wasn't like a post saying if that was compatible with solo. So I don't think I have, I've played it with that yet. But, yeah, the big the big thing is the David Tortsey big bot solo mode. But it is like, it's a big step up if you've already got it, isn't it? I do love the new art, but I, I did love the way that old Kanban looked as well. VIPs, that's the one. Celebrities, the artists, aren't they, when they get to the top. So getting more assistance would be quite nice. Getting influence would be lovely. It's just that at the moment, we've not got anyone in our gallery to kind of really take advantage of that. But we could get more assistance and things. Do I think of what order I particularly want to do everything in? Uh-oh, my preview's spinning. Am I still live? Hopefully it hasn't cut out too much. So the artist that's discovered already, I wouldn't have to take an action to discover this artist, is the photographer. So we could kind of get one of their things bought and sold early, get someone in the gallery, 
early on. Not have to worry massively about getting new people into the gallery. Maybe that's the thing to do. And maybe really go for influence. Yeah, there are bonuses elsewhere we can get from things, aren't there? Yeah, I think let's let's have that. Go for it. Oh, it was just freezing for me. Well, that's 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 the best case scenario, isn't it? Really, I just look like a fool thinking that it's turned off. So we have these three spots for contracts on our board. They get us a ticket of our choice. I think I do really want the VIPs in the gallery, but in my lobby right now. There is a pink. Now let's get a white ticket. White ticket. So you get a ticket. They're great. Tickets are another executive action that you can do on your turn. So you can spend a ticket to move a person from the plaza to your lobby, from the lobby to your gallery, where they count for a lot of the bonuses. They count in your lobby, though, for getting international market tiles, so it's still good to have them in your lobby. But you can also spend tickets to move them from someone else's lobby into the plaza. I think, if I'm remembering right, in a solo game, only that starting one is ever going to go to the bot's lobby. They don't mess about with your stuff. So it's just kind of an extra one to get if you're willing to pay an extra ticket. So yeah, well, let's think about getting that white into our gallery. So I think as the kicked out action, as not as the kicked out action, as the executive action, I could spend tickets to get people moving about, but I think I'm going to pop my assistant down and let's get someone new into the gallery. I love the influence people. So I think we're going to chuck them in. Let's get them into the gallery. Doesn't do anything yet, but hopefully that's going to pay off later. So I'm up there. Lacerda is going to move out of that spot pop an assistant behind and knock me out. So I go on this spot because after, well, in a multiplayer game, after the person takes their turn, the kicked out person gets to choose what they want to do. So I can have a kicked out action for free. So I would, in this case, only be able to spend a white ticket getting this VIP into my lobby. Having a couple of people in the lobby might not be a terrible thing, you know, for going to the old markets. The other option is, because I've got no more contracts to pop assistance on, I've got no more assistance free. The other option is, I could spend five influence, that's a lot of the old influence, and have, that, have one of those actions again, get another contract. I think that's a bit pricey. I think, though it could be much better later on, let's spend a ticket and get someone in there. So this ticket is gone. There are 10 of each colour of ticket in the game. They will go for various reasons. Well, well, whenever you claim them from bonuses, like discovering artists can get them for you, buying pieces of artwork can get them for you. But also, whenever you kick Lacerda or one of his assistants out, you discard a ticket from the game. So the whole thing is a countdown. Like, it's one of the ways that the game can end. Like, we get a bit of income when one of the stacks of tickets runs out. But I think it's if all of the tickets run out, or two artists become celebrities, or there are none of these tiles left. When two of those things are true, the game is going to end. Okay, so Lacerda's turn. My kicked out thing was taking executive action, and you go back to sulk in your own gallery. So I could go and do that again now. I want to buy art, but I've already got an assistant there, so I could kind of take that as a free action when Lacerda goes, because we know that he's just going to go around, he's going to kick my person out, and I'll get a kicked out action. So I would like to either earn or spend a bit of influence first, so that if I want that free action, remember the cost is slide down to the next, the next pink square, so if I can earn or spend a bit of influence, it will cost me less in the long run to take this bonus action. So the two things that I can do now are promote an artist. Yes, I can hire assistants here, but that's not going to get me influence in any way. It will help in other ways. I can promote an artist. The only artist I could promote, I think. Can you promote undiscovered artists? They have got that influence on there. I don't think you can. 
So I could promote him, but I haven't bought a piece of art from him yet, so it would kind of be the wrong way round. But I could go to the international markets, which is a bit early for me, but I haven't got any art. Ugh. Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. You need art of a certain type. I could bid in the auction. Yeah, we could go in the auction. Let's do that. Go on. You know, it makes sense. All right, we've not got a ton of money to be playing with here. Okay, so I'll kick you out, and we'll discard a ticket in a minute. So coming over to which button is going to show us... Okay, you are supposed to show us the... Oh, it's the, is it the bot button. The bot button shows it us. Okay, so here's the international markets. The column you are dealing with needs you to have these people in your lobby. So anyone, a brown and a pink, a white and a pink or brown. That's fine. I've got a white and a pink in. The columns are fine. The middle column is not used in a two-player game, so we don't have to worry about that. The top bit, you can come here. If you have interacted with, if you've acquired at any point in the game, an artwork of that type. So all of those are off limits to me because I've done none of it yet. But these down here, this is the auction. The person who has paid the most money in these spaces at the end of the game will get that. The culturally important piece, the artwork of significance. I can't remember terms of anything. So I can come here. You don't have to have any requirement of art to come to the auction bit, but you do need to spend money. One money for this row, three money for this row, six money for this row. So rewards, tickets, ticket of your choice, any two different tickets, system for free, get money based on the people in your gallery, two for every brown, one for every white, get influence based on the people in your gallery, two for every pink, one for every white, get a person of your choice into your gallery. It's very expensive though, isn't it? So... This bonus would get me two influence, which is kind of nice, but a couple of tickets might be lovely. So coming to this column will get me an influence. So that influence can just get paid to do the bonus action in a minute. It would be nice to be earning more, but that will that will come with time. Maybe a couple of different tickets. I don't necessarily know who's going to come out into the wilds yet. So I think we only start with 10 money as well. And I need to buy art, so I don't want to spend a ton. I think I'm just going to spend a Marty book there. Oh no, I've got to have an assistant as well, haven't I? I'd have to bring my assistant back. Oh, this has worked out terribly. We could hire an assistant. It's going to not work out as well. No, but an assistant would have to go there first. Oh, you've really messed this up. Supposed to be an expert. I never said I was an expert. Disclaimer. Oh, you're not going to undo the whole thing, are you? After blathering about that. I just want the influence. Shouldn't have stuck a... Assistant on me thing, should I? Because I can, I can just bring back this assistant. That's fine. I can just pull them back and they can go on there. That, they're there for the rest of the game, by the way, is the downside of this action. I can just do that. But then I don't get the kicked out action that I'm trying to earn a bit of influence for. So what's the alternative? We could just go and get the artwork now. We'll still get kicked out next time. And then if we've got a piece of artwork, we can go and get a tile instead. We do want to contribute to the auction. She can actually, for all of me, great ideas. It was a rubbish idea. In practice. We could like go here, bring that thing back, and then I go here next time and Lacerda will kick me out and I'll get to do another thing. No, I do love influence. 
I'm going to take all of that back. Let's get some art. So I kick myself out, but I don't get a kicked out action for that. Assistant just comes back. So we can discover a new artist or buy a piece of artwork. I think the thing to do is buy a piece of artwork, right? One artist is discovered at the start of the game. The first blue artist you drew, which happened to be a photographer. There are two artists of each type and each colour in the game. And you just use one of each type and colour. So I think let's buy, let's buy a bit of photography. Get that in the old gallery. We'll get a ticket, we'll get someone else out into the plaza. We'll get things going. So it costs their fame, basically. It costs me $4 to get this bit of artwork. It's a bargain because they're not really famous yet. $4. Yeah, let's let's go for it. I think you go to the place and do the thing. That's exactly what I'll do. So $4, we get this bit of art. So the meeple that is on it goes into the center now, the plaza. The artist gets more famous. They get zero more famous, plus one for every VIP in my gallery. So that is no more famous. That's a rubbish idea as well. They're almost in my gallery. I just need some tickets. Yeah, the artwork on the the one that happened to be on top isn't the ideal one for what I want to happen. But we'll just have to promote them to get them more famous. Okay, so that's zero plus zero then. I can have a ticket of my choice. Let's have a white ticket then. So we can try and get that person in our gallery. Uh, and then that just means it's a photo. So in the old gallery, pop that down over there. You can't just choose to put it there. You've got to have three things in there at once. And we're probably going to be selling that pretty soon. I also need a signature token. I just realized I need to move the board along a bit, don't I? So you can see the signature tokens. It gets put at their fame level, which is one green star. So the artwork I've just paid for is worth five. Paid four for is worth five. So that's all right, isn't it? I think that worked out okay in the end. We didn't make the artist more famous, which is always a bit rubbish. Lacerda comes around, leaves an assistant behind, and kicks me out. They do nothing. The only thing they do something in is the international markets. So, ooh, I wanted another action though, didn't I? Slight take back, not a full take back. I'm not gonna take back the turn. Whenever you are spending money in the gallerist, something you can do is get a discount. You get one discount by sliding your influence down to the next coin on here. So I can basically have a one discount for sliding the influence down to this coin. The advantage of that is, now if I want the bonus action, which I think I do, I can just slide this down and it only costs me three influence rather than five. Oh, and other take back, let's use that white ticket as my executive action to get that in the gallery. Okay, take backs are finished. Because we could discover an artist here and get things cooking. Ooh. What we could do is... Oh, I don't want to discover that artist, though. I was so excited that I was going to get some influence. I forgot that. I don't want to discover a sculptor. It's unfortunate that bonus has come out on the sculptor. No, this will be good. This will be good. Let's discover. Yeah, we'll slide down to take an action in the place we've just been kicked out of. We will discover a painter. So you can discover any of the artists. You just flip them over. There's a bonus on them as well. So I can get any Meeple from the plaza to my gallery. If there's no one in the plaza, you can take from the back, but there is in the plaza. I'm going to keep going influency. So you can have as many of the pink or brown in your gallery as you like. You're limited to the VIPs. One plus the number of artworks you've sold. So I'm at my limit with one there. We're going to discover this painter. And so their signature token goes on this space in my board. I have got like an agreement, a handshake with them because I discovered them. 
I can buy an artwork from them at their starting price, no matter how famous they are. Unfortunately, in this game, I'm the only person that can make them famous or not. So it's not like other people could interact with them and then I can go really cheap. But I could promote them somewhere and then still buy it for cheaper than it should cost me. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's the only bonus so far. The advantage of the red ones, they start more famous, but that means they're more expensive. And you also get a VIP out into the plaza. But I think we'll go with that one because we are... We're going to be getting a couple of paintings, at least, hopefully. That'll all be okay. So I've been kicked out. I'm back in my gallery. The downside of this is I've got no assistance out anywhere, kind of earning stuff. But we're going to come down to this action. I'm going to do... Am I going to do some promotion? I think so. So we can either get new assistants, which would be lovely, or we can do some promotion here. We're going to promote an artist. And I think maybe it should be the artist that we've got an artwork of, so we can go and sell it for more than we paid for it. So down in the promotion section, you have to promote the artist to the next level they need to be at, the next thumbs up they need. So. For example, the painter has started at nothing, so one would be the next one. The photographer started at one, so two is the next one you need to do for them. This is how much influence you need to pay. This is the bonus you will get, and you will also raise the fame of the artist this many squares. So one plus one for every VIP in your gallery. So, with that in mind, we will pay two influence to promote the photographer. My reward is influence. Two for every pink, one for every white. So that is going to be five. So again, it's going to cost us three for a kicked out, which isn't ideal, but it's okay. And so we've got one white in the gallery, plus one, goes up two spaces. Now there are two green stars, which means our photo is worth more money. So we've made a tiny bet. I think that's okay though. But then, following me like a hawk, there's Lacerda kicking me out again. So we can do this again. For three influence, I can take an action here. I am a bit short on assistance. It would be nice to buy some. Let's see. It would be nice to have some assistance to go to the international markets and still have some assistance free to go and do other things. But I'm kind of being chased around, aren't I? And... I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we can get some influence in other ways. Right, right. Let's spend the influence and have another action. So, I could promote again. The reward for going to level three is two different tickets. Still only go up two spaces, which doesn't take them to the three green stars. Oh, you can, when you're promoting people as well, you can drop down to the next pink. See, it's got a white star on it, to put them up a level more than they would normally go. But I wouldn't want to have, to have done that before now anyway. Let's hire some assistants. So I've only got seven money. You can see on the left hand side there, you've got to start from the top. That's how much it is to hire them. And there might be a bonus underneath, like getting some tickets, getting some influence later on. You can only hire as many as you can fit in your office. And... If people need to come back, so I'd say they've been kicked out and they're in space for them, you just lose them, I think. I don't think they even go back on the left-hand side. You try not to let that happen. So we definitely want to hire a couple, I think. I've got seven money. I could get a discount on this. In theory. 
I might as well actually get a one discount because I'm planning on earning some influence next turn. Yeah, so because sliding out to the next coin, that's only one influence. So we basically get that one for free. Yeah, I'll pay four money for the two underneath, and that is going to get me a brown ticket and a pink ticket as well. Then we're stocked up on assistance for the foreseeable future. We get some more tickets. And this is my kicked out action, isn't it? I can't do an executive use your tickets action. I'm back in the gallery again. Okay, so... I could just wait and let them go to the... I kind of want to go there twice, though. I do want to get some assistance down so that I can kind of leave them there and not be tired to doing all of these actions in order. But it's kind of working out okay, I think. Let's come here. Maybe we'll do this twice. Kick them out. That'll happen in a minute. Okay, now I haven't got a white in my lobby. Oh, we, won't be, we will be able to do it twice. Yeah. That's all okay. Right. First of all, so we can only pick this left column. We're going to gain some influence for it. We're going to gain three influence no matter what we do. Now I've got a piece of art. I could have this. So this is influence and points, one influence and three money at the end of the game for every piece of art in my gallery, that is. If we're going for Master Gallerist and if it works out, we're going to have four works of art in the gallery. So that's pretty good going, I think. Or we could go for something in the auction. I've only got three money, so that leaves us here. I could hire an assistant and that would get me another five influence on top of the three from the column actually because the next the next assistant bonus is influence so that is a bit tempting because the further you go up on the influence track can you see the coins like the pink spaces are always five apart but look how close together these coin discounts get so if you're right at the top of influence you can get a five like nine pound discount just by going a space at a time. So it's really, really useful if you can build up that influence. But at the same time, maybe we, maybe we do one of each. Yeah, that's the answer. Okay then, first thing, let's get the influence token. We've got to put an assistant permanently on this space. We're going to get three influence. And we could still get influence from this. So it needs to go somewhere on our board. And you, you recognise the, the bonuses already. I think we go for the five influence again. We could even just get the free assistant. But no, I'm, I'm going to go for influence. So this does mean, unfortunately, you've got to send someone out from your lobby to the plaza again. But that's going to be 2, 4, 5 influence. Shooting us back up to 12. You've got to leave the lobby. But then my executive action. So we've got nothing to do with contracts and assistants. But the other executive action we can do is spend tickets to bring people in. Let's spend both of these to get pink back in the plaza. And we can also pink back in the lobby. We can also bring a brown in the lobby now. Because it's nice to have browning because that helps you get money with those bonuses. But I'd be more inclined to kick the brown out next time when I go for some influence. So I spent my tickets. The last thing we need to do is Lacerda's assistant has been kicked out. We've got to discard a ticket from the game. And if I'm remembering correctly, it's the ticket with the most, the ticket type with the most on there still. So that is going to be, I don't know if it's completely clear from a bird's eye view. Uh, there is one less white than everything else. So I think we're going to pick brown to go out of the game. Still plenty left of everything. 
And then when Lacerda goes, he leaves an assistant behind. And wouldn't you know it, he's kicking me out again. Now he does do something here. He is going to alternate between the top row of here, then here, then here, then here. So I've got to watch out for that too. Like if I want if I want bonuses that are on the 3D art row, I might be a bit out of luck with that because he might just take them away. Yeah, that might be a worry actually. Okay. We will have to get into structure in some way. So he's going to take this one away, basically. It's gone. That would have been uh, influence and money for every influence tile I had. And I want to have five of them. I've been kicked out again. So do I want to spend just two influence? To be involved. All right with the markets again. I think so. I do want to keep this influence up. James says hi, Rach. She got her headphones on now. Hello. That says hi. So we haven't got a white in the lobby, so we can't choose from this column still. Haven't got any other different types types of art so those tiles are just out of the question we've got to go for something on the auction we could just go cheap and get a ticket and then we wouldn't have to get oh yeah we don't have to get anyone out of the plaza do we now of the the lobby i've got three money we could get six by going all the way down to one influence which i don't think is a good idea we would get someone into the gallery but it would just be it would be an investor, right? Because it's not that symbol isn't from the bag. So I don't think that's the thing to do. Get a ticket or get an assistant. The assistant gets you influenced, doesn't it? So I think that's the thing to do. It's just what I do next might end up being an issue. Well, let's see. I'm just thinking next time. I will have no money, so I kind of want to go and sell a painting. But we know that I'm going to get kicked out. The bonus is going to give me five influence, so it will cost me a whole five to do a kicked out action. Whereas if I get one discount, you know, it's only going to cost me three to get kicked out. You might as well take the discount if that's what you're going to be doing. Just trying to see, is there a way of me getting influence elsewhere? I would really like... Oh, we're getting three, aren't we? Thanks, Matt. So that's not even an issue, is it? Because we're getting three from the column. I'd forgotten the column. Yep. Yeah. So... Oh, so I might as well get the discount still, mightn't I? Because we're getting one, two, three, plus five. It's only going to cost me one for a kicked out action. There we go. I'll take the one discount. I've still got one money. We're going here, we get, I think I've already put myself in the right um, position there. We get an assistant. I'm already on the right space, aren't I? I've had this five influence as well. We get the free assistant, we've had that, we've had that, and we have not gained a investment tile, so we don't have to get anyone out of the lobby. So brilliant. Yeah, and that was being kicked out. Oh, so much to do. So... The advantage of not going and selling a painting right now would be that we don't have to discard a ticket because Lacerda will just kick himself out. But it would be nice to have money. It's always nice to have some money. Yeah, go with your first instinct. What's ever wrong with that? We'll have to discard a ticket in a minute. It's going to be a pink one unless I gain one, which I could actually. So I'm kind of thinking, out of the bonuses, you can redraw. You can have four more if there's nothing you like out there. 
So I think this is the only new bonus. This is a meeple of your choice, but from the bag. So I haven't sold a piece of art yet, but actually we could sell the art first. Then we could take this as our kicked out action. And we could get another VIP straight into the gallery. That's something to think about. Or the old temptation. That's five more influence, isn't it? Even more, if I get a pink ticket right now, I can get this. Are these collectors? Collector straight in the gallery. And then when I take that action in the future, it will be worth seven to me instead of five. And that could help at being at a nice position for kicked out actions, couldn't it? And that would still be there for the future. We only need to sell one bit of 3D art, though. Paintings is what we need to sell multiples of. Oh, collectors in the bag is going to help so much, but... Let's sell the artwork first, and I'll have a think. So, you need a piece of art and the contract for it. There's my contract. My assistant comes back that was sitting on it. Oh, someone's about to leave though, aren't they as well? Oh, selling's always so sad. So we know for our thing, the artwork is worth eight money. Not a massive amount, but it's still some, isn't it? We made a profit, paid four, got eight. This artwork's going, but you keep it in a pile. So we'll keep it under here. Let's see, I'll try not to get in the way of it, because that's counting towards this card now. We have sold a photo. If we sell a bit of 3D art as well, we will get $10 at the end of the game. You've now got to choose... Oh yeah, let's get the money before I forget. So, eight. We're nearly back to our starting money. You've now got to choose who is going to buy it from your gallery. I haven't got a choice because I haven't put him in the gallery. So it's going to be one of my lovely pinks going all the way back to the plaza. But it's got to be done. You've got to put something out. So that means this card goes a certain way up depending on who you kicked out. Is it the, the way of the person that just went out? So on top match, yeah, the action on top matches. So it stays blocking that space off. But now I've got a bonus action that an assistant can go to. It's just been made worse by the person leaving. But I could do that as an executive action now if I wanted to, to gain three influence. That would be a terrible thing to do, though. But I think we're unfortunately wasting. Well, not wasting. Would it have been a better thing to do to do that first? Do that, do the executive action of it. So you'd be five further up. And then sell with the kicked out action. I know I wanted to do it, sell first, and then have this bag bonus. I kind of think do it the other way around now. Hey, Tim. There's a lot of stuff kind of going on, but it's all it's all linked. It's not. It's one of his easier games. One of his sort of easier games, but that's not saying that much. So there's a load of artists to discover. They make art. Here you can get contracts and sell that art. Here you can go on the radio and promote those artists, and you can hire new assistants. These little meeples that are getting left behind everywhere, and over here are the international markets. They're a bit more complicated. There's an auction for this bit of art. There's tiles we can get that'll give us a load of points. I think I'm going to stick with the way I'm doing it. I do want to be really high up on the influence track, but I think it's important to get those VIPs in. So yeah, we are unfortunately wasting an executive action because I don't want to gain 
three influence right now because I'm about to spend it all and it would be a waste. We have got to get rid of a ticket. So the most is pink, unfortunately. Got to get rid of that. And you have been kicked out, but you're going to get left behind. So he's coming from there and he's kicking me out. So we can spend one influence to take another action here. I can't sell another bit of art because I've got no art and no contracts. So we're going to have to get a new contract. We only need to sell one bit of 3D art. So it would be one of these two. And that's it. I think get the person out of the bag. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to be putting it on the pink ticket space. Get me a pink ticket. This is me being kicked out, so I can't do that right now. So that's just going to go there. You haven't discovered a 3D artist, though, is your downside of that plan. So you're going to have a contract for something that you're not buying for at least a couple of turns here. Hmm. You make a good point, me. Oh, I've never put... Um, when, you, when you buy a bit of art and a new one gets discovered, you're supposed to put a meeple from the bag on top of there. So no white meeples are coming out. Stick with it, it'll be fine. Replenish that. I've been kicked out. Will I be getting a copy of Bot Factory? I've not heard anything. I'd like to, though. Maybe I'll have to get one eventually. Right. It's my turn to pick something, isn't it? So. Let's see. Discovering an artist or buying some art. Would be really nice. It's just the influence situation I want. I don't want to jump all the way back down. If we buy some art with my action, I can get a discount on it. And we'll be in this kind of position and only spending two for the extra action. I think that's the thing to do. I do want to get up here, but it's going to have to wait. So we want to buy a piece of art, but doing it that way around you're not going to be able to buy the piece of 3D art you've just gotten a contract for. If you want the art you've got the contract for so you can go and sell it, you need to discover the artist on your turn and then buy their art on your kicked out action. And you can't discover an artist actually. No. Bigger point, you can't discover an artist while you've got the handshake agreement with another artist. So I've got to do it this way around. We've got to buy a painting. We could buy a photo as well. We do need a photo in the gallery at the end. But we want the painter to be with big bucks. Let's get a painting bought. So it's only going to cost me three. It's a bit of a waste of my signature because they haven't gotten any more famous. But that'll be okay. Let's come here and buy a painting. Cost three. I can afford that. It's going to be this. Their fame goes up. Oh, before we go, before we do the action, do we want to do an executive action? This executive action? Yes, is the answer we do. To grab a VIP from the bag straight into the gallery that's going to affect their fame when we buy their art. So we've paid for the art. Their fame goes up. One plus one for every VIP in the gallery. We can have another one because we've sold a work of art now. So their fame goes up one, two, three spaces. We could move down to make it more. Oh, I've got a one discount, haven't I? I need to oh, slide down there. You've had a one discount. Uh, no, I don't want to make their thing go up anymore. I can have a brown ticket. And then a white or pink. Well, there's, there's nothing to do with white tickets at the moment. So I think we'll go for pink. That goes in the gallery. Now, it would be nice to build up some artworks, actually. 
and there is one ticket on this bit of art, so we need one meeple from the back, another pink. I've had my executive action, that was getting the white in there. I've kicked you out. The most tickets is now white. Is it white? Yeah, it's white. So a white ticket is gone. We've got six, seven, seven tickets left. So, Lacerda, kicking me out. Will I spend two influence to take an action? Yes. So now, are we going to promote next time and keep going around in a circle like that? Maybe. You don't have to take this action and spend the influence. I could just do a kicked out action. Which could be, I've got two pink tickets and a brown ticket. It could be getting a pink straight into my gallery and then a brown from the lobby into the gallery. But I can do that on my turn. We want the action. I've already moved myself down. Do we want to discover a 3D artist? We could get two different tickets for discovering the blue artist. And the other one's got the money bonus on it. It would... The upside is, is that you're putting the VIPs into the plaza and then they can go into your lobby. Ooh, I hadn't thought about that. What was my option? It was a white or a pink ticket. Let's have a white ticket instead of a pink ticket. Take backs. Would that change? Yeah, I would have had the white ticket that got put out. So I could have chosen for a brown ticket to be discarded, actually. There's trouble with me doing take backs, isn't it? Let's discover the better artist. I don't like the bonus as much, but it will get a VIP into the plaza where we can get them into the lobby and then we can interact with this column. Yeah, so the bonus is money. Two money for every brown in here, one for every white. It's getting me two money. It's all right, isn't it? It's not what I've really gone for so far. Oh, and the painting, you should be on the two green stars. So that painting's worth eight. It's not bad. Because, yeah, I just realised it was still in the handshake space. So you're being discovered. Cube on five. And, yeah, that's the steps of being discovered, I think. So I'm kicked out again. Do we just keep the cycle going around and around? Maybe we skip this one this time. I do want to promote... I do want a lovely bit of 3D art. So I could just come here again. Kick him out and leave someone behind. If I use my tickets, I've got one of each now. We could have... So what have I got? Painting. So we could have something from here. We could have this one. It'd be a shame not to get this one, but I think it'll be okay as well. Because I'm not going to have... I'm only going to have a couple of paintings. It's not amazing to be rewarded with that. Let's come to the markets. Breaking the pattern. I'm going, to, I'm going to do my executive action. So one of each ticket. You need to be in the lobby. I want you in the gallery. And I don't want you to move. So let's have another in the lobby. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. What do we get? So we can go for this column now, which I think is good to... Well, they're probably going to be in the lobby for a while because I need to sell another piece of art before they can go in the gallery. 
soonest to be taken will be this one, which it is for a while. It will reward me for having sold works of art, and I will have done that four times if I have my points. Gets me one influence, which is nice just to be tipped over the edge of what I need. It would be nice to go for the auction. We could spend most of our money and we would get six, so seven influence in total for going down there. And we will have made a pretty big play for the auction, having spent nine money to, for it. But we do want to get five influence tiles, don't we? That is a requirement for the game. The auction can be worried about later. And that is the last spot, I think, in the game that the bot will go for. Or maybe that's the last spot. It depends where I go. Yeah, let's take another investment tile. So I can go there, I will get one influence. Which bonus do I want? So I could promote an artist two spaces. I could get someone from the plaza into my gallery. A couple of tickets would be nice. An assistant would be nice. I'm down to two at the moment. Another couple of money, yeah. I think someone in the gallery. Someone's got to leave the lobby. I want you in the gallery. That is now eight influence, isn't it? Whenever that bonus comes up. I think that'll be okay. So I kicked you out. It's either got to be pink or white. I think white. Lacerda. Kicks himself out. We don't get rid of tickets for that. We don't, do we? I don't think we do. No, it's if I kick him out. He still does the international markets thing here if he kicks himself out. It's whenever he comes up. So that's an advantage of letting him just do that. So now... I could just kick him out now and he wouldn't leave an assistant behind. You do have to discard a ticket for kicking him out as well. We could come over here, though, and get a contract for the painting I need to sell, and then sell it when he comes around. Let's come up here. So I want to leave an assistant behind. Absolutely. Now, contracts. What do we want? The only painting of the thing I have that I could sell relatively soon. Would get me a free assistant, which is all right. I seem to be running out of them. Or we could reveal four new cards, but there might not be a painting one there. That wouldn't be the worst thing. Let's have a look. So, sculpture's bad, sculpture's bad, sculpture's bad. Painting. Okay, we're going to have to have this one. Get someone from the back. That's all right. Could even save that until later. When we have sold a bit of 3D art and we can get a white from the bag straight into the gallery. Goes on the last remaining space, which is a brown ticket. And I haven't had a kicked out action, have I? So I could get someone from the bag into my gallery. I wouldn't be able to choose a white at the moment. So it would be another pink, I imagine. Or I have got that action available where I can get eight influence now. That's not the time to do that, though. Because I'm in the perfect position to take a bonus action by just spending one. I mean, he's going to spend me assistance. I need to go get assistance next time, I think. So I've had my contract anyway. Oh yeah, we're thinking about kicked out action. Do I want to get someone else into the... ...thing? Not really.
I think we'll be okay for assistance in the immediate future. Do I save that bonus to get a white after you've sold something? Or just get a pink in now? And then that bonus gets you 10 influence whenever you do it. Eight's pretty good right now. Hey, John, how's it going? We just take no bonus. Just don't want to tie up another assistant is the other worry as well. The executive action is going to be spending a ticket. It's only one brown. That's all I've got. Got to get rid of a ticket and the most is pink. So 656 is the tickets left. Lacerda leaving someone behind and coming to the international markets. Let me just double check that I'm doing his right. I think he goes here. He was in the top left most empty space alternating between the reputation and auction tracks. So last time he went in the reputation track, now he's coming in the auction track. He takes the top left available space. So next time, now I've gone here, this is his priority. Six money in the auction. No thanks. So I'm getting kicked out. I want to spend a single influence to go somewhere. I've still got you know, one, a white and a brown in the lobby so we could grab from this column still. Because we can get a free assistant from getting any one of these tiles. So it can be this one or this one. Because I've got a painting. This is two money for everything you've sold or exhibited. So hopefully it's going to be like eight things at the end. That's pretty nice. It's just that that's easier to get. This is a, an influence in three money for every photo we've done, which is going to be two. Not as good. We could go in the auction. I've got nine money. Could go and get influence. So it would be, be nine in total, wouldn't it? Which isn't a great number to do. Let's get this. So I get one influence. Great for kicked out again. And I'm going to put it in get another assistant. I thought when I said earlier he target yeah he alternates don't he so he go there there then doesn't he go there there or does he just keep going in the left column until it's all filled me player aids contradicted me aren't it international market the first is placed in the top part to reputation tile the second is placed in the auction this is re repeated The first empty space nearest the top left. Oh yeah, starting in the top left, moving right, and then to the next row. So yeah, I think the first, the first was right. Maybe the play raid means that, and I've just read it out wrong. Kicks you out. Place an assistant in the top left most empty space. I guess I yeah, I'm I'm probably just interpreting it wrong. Top left most. Topmost is the priority from left to right. So yeah, the way I first explained it is correct. The He'll take that one, which I'm not bothered about. And yeah, I am bothered a bit. So shouldn't I take that tile? That one. I like it, but I haven't, um, I haven't got any 3D art yet. So I can't take that one yet. He's going to take it away, which is a shame. But I've already got three reputation tiles i can probably get this one so that will be four and then you've got your starting one that you get as soon as you've got three so that's the five tiles i don't think we need to worry about them because yeah i know what you mean though because if it wasn't for that starting tile 
I'm not planning on getting involved in sculpture, am I? So I won't be able to have those ones. As long as I can get this one, which I think I'm safe from for a bit, it should be okay. So I've been kicked out. Assistance is back. We've had all of that stuff. I've now got a couple of assistants to do things with. So I think... What do we do now? Do we buy some art? We're in a good position to be kicked out. So I wouldn't want to discount on art. I would kind of like to buy art a couple of times if I can afford it. So that I can get that starting tile in. Oh, I need to kick someone out of my lobby, don't I? I don't think I did that bit. Right. Leave behind someone anyway. I don't think we want to jump straight back to the markets. Because that puts us in a bit of an assistant crisis again. And then before promoting anyone... Because promoting anyone is going to get us out of the perfect influence situation, is it? Let's come down here, promote next time, maybe. So we don't need to ever discover anyone new, do we? These are the people. This is fine. We need to buy more art. We need to buy another painting and sell it. Two paintings sold during the course of the game. So buying the painting would put them up to fame. Zero plus one for every meeple. Photo we don't need to sell again. We do want to make them more famous, but... It would be like the, the 3D artist will get the most famous kind of quickest. But we have got their handshake, so they could get famous in a different way first. We could promote them. And then buy their thing for cheaper. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Who are we going to promote next time? Because that's going to be the kicked out action. And then you want to spend like... Yeah, we could spend three promoting them. So yeah, we don't need to sell the photo again. We want these to be the celebrities. Let's buy 3D art. So it costs five. I know I'm not taking full advantage of the agreements I've got with them. So yeah, five. Their fame goes up one plus one for every white meeple. I, I could kind of ignore the kicked out element of it and just slide down for the extra fame which would put them up to three green stars and then i could sell it straight away but i don't think that's what we're doing no i'm not going to go for the extra fame we'll get that from promotion and stuff in a minute so there are two green stars so this is already worth eight that we're buying you go in the middle i get a brown ticket and a white or a pink let's go for Maybe pink, because they. whenever I sell something, they're going to be the ones getting out, aren't they? Anything else that I've forgotten on the tile? Nope. New tile has got two tickets on it, so two more meeples on there. Still no white, but there are very few in the bag. There's only two more in the bag. Oh, visitors, the bag being empty is another trigger for the end of the game, isn't it? I don't know if I said that at the start. So you've been moved up. That's all great. Ticket needs discarding. It's got to be a white. So there's five, four, five tickets left. Hmm. Okay, Lacerda is coming over here. Doing nothing but kicking me out. Hmm. Do we just get... I didn't do a kick to, uh, an executive action, did I? Do I want to... I don't want to spend tickets... Do I want to pop my assistant on one of these things? Influence would ruin things a bit, wouldn't it? And I haven't sold someone to do this as effectively as I wanted it. It's just, if I'm going to get another contract right now, it's going to overwrite this one, so it would help to have an assistant there because they just come back. Because this gets overwritten with the new contract that we get. It means that I'm not in as ideal a position, you know, only spending one to do a kicked out action. I'll be spending like four, won't I? Yeah, I'll be spending four, unfortunately, but I'll have more influence than if I didn't do it. K 
Can we cope without earning money, though? I think we've got to sell something. I know it's sending people out, but we've got to sell four times. We've got to do so much art stuff. We're kind of sorted in the markets a bit, kind of. But the wheeling and dealing of art, we might need some money to do it because I've only got four dollars. And all of the artists are a, a fair bit more expensive than that. So I think we're going to have to sell. That's okay, though. It'll still work out the same way. Let's do this on the turn. Moves up not eight. And then we'll have to spend... I bought a piece of art, didn't I? So I could go down there, get a dollar back, and we'll have five. So can I afford art now? No, I don't think you can. I think either way is okay. We'll get to everything in the end. We just don't know what contract we'll get because we don't want any of these. But surely that means something of the next four will be lovely and desirable. Yeah, you're spending the influence no matter what. You're going to get kicked out of here next time, so you'll be able to buy some art. Uh, just do something, just pick one. We will hang on. Will we? Yeah, the painter's not necessarily who you need to promote. I'm just thinking I could get a discount and... We'll sell. The 3D art? The 3D art. <laughs> if you sell someone leaves, this is just a endless loop of, I was going to say decisions, but it's not a decision, is it? We need masterpieces. Sell the 3D art. Sell it. Someone's going to have to leave, but that is just the way of the game. So, you. Give me my assistant back. That goes up, that way up. You are gone and sold. That's the only 3D art we need to sell. And it was worth... Yeah, it would have been nice to hang on and do a bit of promotion and make it worth more. But it's still worth eight, and we can buy another one off him now. Well... In a min. Yeah, we're taking the sell kicked out action, aren't we? So I get eight more money. So we've got the most I've had this game, I think. By a fair old margin. What have we got now? Like 17? No. 13. So been kicked out. Get you back. Moving out. Leave something behind. Because we could just come straight here, couldn't we? And get another contract now. We're about to get kicked out again so we can buy another bit of art. Yeah. Come here. What else do I need contracts for? A painting. Two paintings. Oh, that is risky, isn't it? I've left myself in a rubbish position here. Or the, the shuffling has just been particularly rubbish. Because if a painting doesn't come out of this deck, what am I going to do? I have got one contract for a painting. So this is the last contract I ever need, isn't it? Mm. 
You've got to do it sooner or later, though. I don't. Can you just discard contracts? I don't know if you can, actually. Well, you would overwrite the face down ones. It would just be a waste of an action, wouldn't it, to have to do another one? Photo. Painting. Whew. Might not be the best bonus, but it's a painting. Yep. We'll go with that then. It's the money bonus. So I might as well do that first because it's going to get overwritten. It will still earn me six influence, which is perfect for kicked out things. We'll take that as the... Oh, we didn't have to do that now, did we? But as we saw from the kicked out thing, it's a good thing to do from the amount of influence it's left me with. You've been kicked out and... You'll go to the next thing anyway. What is there? Five, four, five. Get rid of a white. Oh, that's fine. Go here. Kick me out. I'll spend an influence to take another action. We've got loads of money. I think we buy... So we could buy the painting and just get it sold. But... So what do we need? Three masterpieces. Three masterpieces. So the 3D artist, we definitely want to make a a master. We want the photographer to be a master, really. They're just going to have to have a load of promotion, maybe wait to buy their thing till later. Yeah, the painter doesn't really matter. How famous they are, because they're not going to be exhibited at the end. I suppose buying a painting now will make... The existing painting I've got worth more also. So yeah, I'm going to buy painting. It's going to cost me six. I can afford that. Puts you out there. Gets me a pink ticket. And they go up zero plus one for every collector. Oh, I could have another collector now, couldn't I? This is a kicked out action though, not just yet. Uh, you go up one, two. So both of my paintings are now three gold stars worth 11 each. So made a bit of money that way as well. And we've got two bits of art in the old gallery again. Couple of assistants to work with. Do we want to buy another? I have got seven money. Tempting because we just go Here and then promote again. Like we go here, get a bit of a discount so that we can get kicked out later. But he's not going to kick us out for ages. We don't really have to worry about that. I want to buy 3D art and it costs eight. And I've got seven money. I have got that action, haven't I? Where I can earn, I would only earn two money from it. Because of the people in my gallery. But we could just use influence to get a bit of a discount. Because we need to promote the photographer pretty heavily, like quite a few times, don't we? So by going here first, we would spend three. Then we could have it as a kicked out action. Then go there next. I think that's the plan. Yeah, that is my plan. Well, that gets me three tickets. It gets me two tickets. Going on the three level, I don't want tickets. They'll be useful for something. Got to be different as well. I want it to be the same. Right. Executive action. I'm going to run out of assistance. Yeah, if you don't buy... No, you're going to get a kit out, you'll be able to buy assistance. If you've got the money for it. Oh, this is all getting worrying now, isn't it? What's this in your hand for? Oh, you want to go on there and get a VIP from the bag into the gallery, which we can now do because we've sold another bit of art. Because this is going to promote whoever we're doing more. So I want to buy 3D art next, so I don't want to promote them now. It would be nice if the sculptor was a master, because we're going to get that at the end, fingers crossed. I suppose we're in the same position. We want the photographer to be really famous. But we haven't got art of either of those people yet. 
So maybe you do need to go and buy the painting first. You're not going to get kicked out for a bit. Buying a painting, it will still help having that person in there. And then we go promote. It's just that I'm going to miss out on a kicked out action, aren't I? The kind of reason I want to do it now is he will kick me out in a minute and I'll be able to promote again. The other person. We just might have to get some money from somewhere. I don't quite know where. Right, promoting. One, two, three to promote you because you're a bit cheaper than the 3D artist. You're going to do both though. I don't know if I'm going to do both right now though. Just arguing with myself the whole time. You've paid three. They're going up one, two, three, four. They're well on the way to being a celebrity. I think one more promotion and buying their artwork will make them a celebrity, right? And maybe one jump down this, but I want to leave it at this for now because of the kicked out action. Two different tickets. Pink. Brown, I think. I've already used my executive action, haven't I, unfortunately. getting the collector in but that will be okay tickets got to go away a white there are three of each ticket i don't i feel like i've wasted too much time somehow money's going to be your biggest issue over everything okay for winning the auction maybe we should let him go there one more time so getting kicked out i'll have the action I'll promote them again, spending four influence. They go up four more spaces. Should I drop down now? And then they're ready. You might have another collector by the time you promote them again. No, don't drop down right now. And then I get one, two, three money, which I think lets me afford the 3D art. Maybe this is all going to work out. I've been kicked out. I can go anywhere. We're buying art, I think. We're buying 3D art. It costs eight. And now I think I've got enough for five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I had 10. So buying 3D art. His fame's going to go up four, which is lovely. Yeah, I can't have anyone else in my gallery just yet. So no point thinking about tickets. So they're gold starred. So that is worth 14 right now. It's dislodged this. You can't use this space for anything other than a masterpiece. So I think that's all right. Two tickets I don't want. I don't want tickets in any way. We are. Oh, we need to get tickets from this, though. White or brown, white and pink. Ooh. Got to have some. Okay, money. It's going to be. Have you had an executive action? You haven't. Why don't you spend these tickets first? I suppose we could just take the white to promote an artist. We do want to buy another sculpture though, so I suppose we don't necessarily want him promoted massively first. You could do the money one though. We could get a brown in and a pink with all the tickets we've already got. Yeah, do the executive first. You don't want to waste them. Brown straight in, pink straight in, pink in the lobby. 
because I haven't got an assistant to do the other one. And then they're the tickets I've just earned. You're in there. Oh yeah, we're putting this somewhere. So we can make an artist four more famous. We wouldn't need to promote again, I think. If we if we make him four more famous, the downside is the next artwork from him is going to cost 16 and we do need another one from him. But buying it will make him a celebrity and it will be worth 20. So we'll still make if I can get the money. Selling the paintings right now are worth 11 each. I don't need to take that bonus right now. We do need one more of these at some point. It's just the alternative is I get five money. It's all right, isn't it? It's going to help you afford that. And then your fifth one can be promoting the artist. Yeah. Go for the money. Get five dollars. We're back on seven. It's all right, I think. We need to get rid of a ticket. It's got to be a brown. Two of each. It's a bit of a shame. Like I suppose like the, the bot discards the one that's got the most, so it kind of evens them out in a way because there is a scoring there's an interim scoring when one of the piles runs out which i could try and make happen uh you get the influence and the money scoring based on the people in your gallery which is lovely time is really running out i've already paid that penalty lacerd is coming he just went to the auction so now he's going to the reputation he's going there and getting rid of that that's fine i don't care and next time he'll go there on the auction. I don't care. I'll still have bid more. I wonder if I've been doing it like that before. I feel like I've jumped down in the columns with him in the past. Maybe I did that wrong. Right. Okay, downside here. I've got no one to leave behind. Upside, I'm not getting kicked out for a while. I think what I want to do is sell a painting, right? I can sell both, yeah. Sell your painting here and then sell your other one in a minute. It is going to send people out, which is unfortunate, but yeah. Yeah, so you come back. Sell the painting. And we could send out a brown. So it's pink we've got a ticket to bring back in. Yeah, we'll send a pink out again. So you come back, you go that way around. Send a pink out, because we've got one ticket where we could bring them back in. And your money is 11, because there are three green stars. So we've got 18 money now, so we can afford another bit of 3D art, which I'll probably do next time. And then I can, yeah, I'll get kicked out and I can do these, repeat these things, hopefully. Right. Executive action. We can either do the influence, get both of them in. We have sold a thing now, haven't we? Or we could get do the influence or money getting thing. No, we'll do the, we'll do the tickets. I've got a pink and a white. Because it would be nice to have that space or something from this column. But we can easily, if we've got six money, which I think we have, we could just come here and guarantee the win and the auction. We might not even need to guarantee that win, depending on how things go. Just jinxing it saying that, aren't I? And maybe we can get another white in there at some point. All right, you go in there. That's the executive action done. You've already sold a painting. You're getting kicked out. He's getting left behind. And... Hi, Ryan. Sorry, I'm in my own world. You haven't got meeples on all of these bits of art. I think you bought the painting first. Shame that the white's come out on there because I'm not buying another one. And I don't think there's any more white in the bag. There's just two pink. That's going to trigger... Oh, that's one of the things that triggers the end of the game. What are the triggers? No tickets, no visitors in bag, two celebrities. Well, okay. No visitors in bag will happen first. 
Kicked out action. Yes. Pay the influence, sell the other painting. Oh, I suppose the downside of not... Yeah, let's... Let's not use the tickets. Because your better thing to do would be to use an assistant on here because you're about to sell a painting. It's five money again. You might as well. It's a waste otherwise. We've got to promote the painter, haven't we? The photographer, which is okay. We only need to do that one more time. Right, 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 right. Ah, is there enough time? We're selling a painting. It's worth 11 still. We've sold all of the things we need to sell. We've got a load of money. We don't need to come up here ever again. I do need to buy two things, but that's okay because... No, we don't need to promote the painter because it's going to happen when I buy his painting. He will go up. He's only going to go up four, but we can do influence. Right, 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 right. Okay. You just sell in here. Have you done all the bits for selling? No, you haven't. Send a brown out because I want to leave the pinks in now. So I get an assistant back and the contract up that way just in case I want to do that bonus action maybe. It will lock those assistants away now though. So you are done. Come here and first of all buy Use your tickets. We are going to have to promote, aren't we? Because this 3D artist is going to go up five spaces, which is too short. Ugh. Oh, we've got, we have got the bonus, haven't we, from the investment tile that's going to push someone up all the way. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Is it? Yes. Buy the 3D art. It costs 12. I've got loads of money. I didn't kick anyone out for this because this was empty as well. Loads of people in the old plaza now. Two different tickets. Let's have... Pink and a brown, I guess. It's not really a lot of point getting a white because they aren't in the plaza. Because I'm not going to be discovering any more artists and I'm not going to be buying a painting. Their fame needs to go up five. And I need this. And they're both going up to the two gold stars now. They're both worth 17. So close to being at a celebrity level. Which they should be at fairly soon, I think. Oh, you need a discount, so you're not wasting your influence. Because I need a kicked out action. You come here, leave that behind. Kicked out action, spend three influence to buy the photography. I'm... I think I'm going to spend all of my influence here. So... I'm going to... Get two inf I'm going to get two discounts on the photo which costs 14, so it's going to cost me 12. Still got 11 money. Because the, t the top painting again is 0 plus 1 for every meeple in here, which is going to push them up. One, two, three, four spaces. That's not a celebrity. But if I drop down to the next star level, that's a celebrity. Can I do that now? I can, can't I? When I'm buying art? I know you can definitely do it when you're promoting. Please tell me you can do it right now. I know I haven't been. I haven't needed to. You may use your influence to gain additional money or fame. Yes. Just double check. So, 
we get five money for discovering this celebrity. And yeah, this is their photo, isn't it? I get a ticket. This is a kicked out action, isn't it? Yeah, let's have, it can be any ticket, let's have a pink ticket and trigger the scoring, the intermediate scoring. So I'll buy that, that's all great. That can go in the masterpiece section, actually. The, yep, 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 yep. Haven't got a kicked out action, but we need an interim scoring. I get two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 influence. It's good because I spent it all. And one, two, three, four more money. So we got $20 right now, it's all right. And so I don't need to promote anybody. All I need is an investment tile, right? I need to win this auction, but we can make that happen, I think. Can I force the end of the game? You finish and play one more last round. But Lacerda doesn't get a round, does he, at the end? Does he? I think I just take one more turn in the solo game, don't I? Yeah. So Lacerda won't get another action. So I'll go, he'll go here. And then I'll get one more action. And he's not going to come to the markets. So he's only bid one on the masterpiece, actually. So I need an investment tile. The only one I can get is this one. And I only need one person in the lobby. So that's fine. We'll come here. Oh, no, I can't force the end of the game. I was going to put it on my player board and choose the option that gets me two tickets. But I needed to choose the option of promoting the... I was going to use that to make the 3D artist a celebrity. Well, if the game doesn't end, they will get to come here and they'll go there, won't they? So they still haven't bid enough in the auction. They'll bid two to my three. So... You don't, you don't need the tickets as soon as he becomes two celebrities. Oh, the bag's not going to be empty, though. The bag's going to have one. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to be empty. I bought you first, and then I bought you. The bag is empty. One trigger. I don't need the tickets. Because the, other, the second trigger can be the celebrity. It's fine. So we're coming here. Discard a ticket. Got to be a white one. I'm going to grab this. Gain three influence and pop it out here. Someone's going to get one more famous for every VIP that I've got. One, two, three, four. One, two, celebrity. Five. So that's three masterpieces, isn't it? I've got two of his stuff and I've got one of his. Five money for celebrity sizing. And I think I've already discarded the ticket. We might as well. We've got one more action after this. We might as well use the assistant because we're not going to be leaving them behind for anything. I don't know what we're going to do with that last action, actually.
I was going to say just get influence so that we can do another executive action next time, but what, what are you going to do with it? Because there's not points for having people in unless you've got like a, a thing that rewards you for that, and I haven't. I could buy another painting, I suppose. That would be the thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're right, man. Oh, it's still worth money. So I could buy another painting, and that would make them more famous. And that would be more points. But I suppose money doesn't... It's not a qualification, but it would be nice to have a load of money, wouldn't it? So do we use the executive action this time to spend the tickets? Because I don't need these tickets anymore, do I? You, you, you. I don't need anyone in my lobby. I'm not coming back here. So I'm, I'm getting this by doing this executive action, by the way. Because you can have more art than you can hold. It doesn't matter that we don't need a painting. You can still have one. So, yeah, that's that. Lacerda comes there and it makes no difference. Now the game has ended. We get one more turn and Lacerda's done. The trigger wasn't tickets. That was surprising. I thought the tickets were completely running out. So. Well, you knew the plan. You've said it. Just got a ticket if you like. It doesn't matter because if, if you need tickets and they've run out, you just get them from like the supply. You can have the tickets that you need. Oh, I wasn't doing that yet. I was just spending tickets. I haven't done that executive action yet. We're going to do that this turn. So buy a piece of art. These are celebrities and they don't make art anymore. The only art that we can have is the painter. Because we haven't discovered the sculpture as well. So they cost eight. Uh, there, there might have been a good idea to have white tickets at some point in the past. I will have a white... And, oh, it has to be a pink. It's white or brown and pink. So you just get it from the discard pile. They go up one plus one for every collector, every VIP. So that's five. So they go up to 13. So that is a gold star. So I've paid eight for 14. That's all right, isn't it? I could drop down. I'm going to be earning... How much influence am I going to be earning here? You've got to, like... Because it might be worth spending some influence if I'm going to go off the edge at the end. They are two more away. I would have to drop two influence levels down to get them to two gold stars, which only makes my thing worth three more points. But let's just see how much influence I'm going to earn. Things in your gallery. I'm going to have the auction thing. So technically five so that's going to be five influence, 3D art, two, so seven altogether. Number of things sold is four, so 11. And number of photos, two, so 13 influence I'm going to earn at the end of the game. That's not going to take me, yeah, in the past it's sometimes taken me towards the end. And you get points based on where you are on the influence. I've sometimes, like, done better in influence earlier on and just been, like, rattling around this end bit. I haven't managed that this time, but I think we've still done pretty well. See, so yeah, I don't think, like at the moment, 13 influence puts me up to 26. Which is worth 10 points. If I drop down to here, then 13 puts me up to 18. So I will have earned 3 points there, but lost 4 points here. So it's not worth dropping the star levels to make them the next stage of famous. There are no more meeples to put out on artworks. That is it. So the bits for scoring, I've actually got... I don't think I can get you a good... Um, a really good camera angle of this. I think this is... Oh, I missed some at some point. I think this is a lot of my solo games. This is this was off BGG. I assume it's still on BGG. It was off BGG in 2016. So I think the best we've ever done... Not monitored, of course. I apparently got 235 once. I think we've done Master Gallery stuff. So what is it today? 21st March. 23... So, oh, there's also majority in the columns, which I've got. 
the area hasn't really hasn't gone to the market. I've I've really stopped ingraining the market completely, haven't I? So I'd I'd have mentioned this. There's there's points majority in the market for having the majority in the columns. He barely came there, did he? I assume I've been doing it right. So am I right in thinking two player you miss out the middle points? I think I remember that. I might just be making that up. Yeah, play with the most assistance in that column, get six, then three, then one. Play with no assistance in that column, gets no money. Yeah, I don't think there's a two player bendy ruley bit. Hi, Michael. Marty Bucks are in action. They've been rediscovered. So I think I'm in both. I'm in both columns there, right? So twenty one. He barely. Ca how did how did I keep him out of here so much? Maybe it's just a really short game. I suppose I've only been going less than two hours, which for me is fairly quick. So, yeah, twenty one points in the markets. It just seems like a lot. Reputation tiles. Okay, then. So, I've forgotten how much influence I said that I was going to earn. What is it? Oh, we need to we need to award... I can't remember at what point we award the... I, sh I assume we award the tile now. I'll change you've been playing Aleph Is it good? I really want to order it. I did break my rule the other day of not buying any things, and I got Fuse Countdown, but Fuse is one of my favourite games ever. What am I looking at? Oh, when we get the... Oh, the auction doesn't count for your renowned works of art because you don't have that yet. Am I right in thinking that? So we're going to get that in a minute. So works exhibited. Oh, I haven't taken the painting, have I? We have got four works exhibited. Did she take a kicked out action at the end? I don't think an, an executive action. I don't think you did. You could have some more influence here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Influence. So maybe I could have spent some promoting them. We won't worry about that. So yeah, exhibited works. We've got four for influence. Then 3D art. We've got another two. You don't give any influence. You give influence. One, two, three, four things sold. And two photos. So we have gone off the edge, actually. 36 we would have. We've got 35. So that's not too bad, actually. That's quite close. In terms of points now, though, so just the money for them. I should have worked out at the same time. So we've got four exhibited things, three money each, so 12. Three, oh, we've had, no, we had three 3D art, didn't we? So I've actually should have 37 influence, but you can't have 37 influence. So 12 plus nine, 21. Two for every bit of art. So that's another 16, isn't it? So 37. Three for everything solved. So that's another 12, 49. And then every photo. I forgot the number that I was on. Forty-nine. Two of them, another six, fifty-five. So pretty good. On that, I just feel like somewhere I've got something massively wrong because it seems to have gone really well. So then you get the value of the stuff still in your gallery. Well, basically, we've got we've got three things by celebrities. So they're worth 20 each. And the painting bought at the last minute is from a one gold star. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 74. The auction. So over at the auction. I bid three, Lacerda bid one for this renowned work of art. Got it for, for three. 
So I get that. Oh, how much is it worth? What if that artist hasn't been discovered? I don't think that usually happens. I hope that doesn't mean I'll lose. We could have discovered an artist at the end of the game though, couldn't we? If that's what I needed to do. He receives money equal to the sales value of that work as if it was created by the most famous discovered artist of the chosen art form. Does that just mean I don't get any money for it? I might see if I can have a little quick see. I'm going to play a weather machine, Michael. Nice. Fuse is such an amazing system. I haven't really... We haven't played Fuse for probably a few years now, but so, so, so good. Still probably the most plays. Oh, Vital has answered this before. Click the link to get to that question then. If the artist was not discovered, you receive the value of the highest undiscovered artist. This is a very rare event. Thematically, the artist was the creator of that work of art. He simply was not discovered by you. So the highest undiscovered sculptor is three green stars. So that w that art is worth 11. The curator card, you see, so you need to have two 3D art done, photo, sculptor. Yep, there's your 15 points. Selling things. Photo and a 3D art. Yes. Then two paintings. Yes. 20 points on that card. Influence is all the way at the end. That's 20 points. or well, 20 money. Money I have left over is 17. It's actually less money than I usually have left over. And so the total on all of that... I'll write a bit sideways. That's not great for cameras, is it? So what are we on? 76, 150. Well, that, that worked out nicely, didn't it? Uh, 165, 76, 96, 216, 233, I think, which puts us, oh, number of masterpieces, three. Which puts us just short of the apparent best ever, but here are your goals to get the tiers. Master Gallerist, you need 35 money across Curator and Art Dealer. We got 35. Reputation Tiles, five of them. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Masterpieces, three. We got three. And money doesn't matter when it comes to the Master Gallerist. But 233 is uh, still quite nice. Experience, you need to have done the highest goal on your Curator. Anything on your Art Dealer, any one of them. And have five reputations still, two masterpieces and $180, and just apprentice, any one goal on either of the cards, just four reputation tiles, just one masterpiece, and 160 money. So I feel like that that felt like I was getting nowhere and the game was ending way quicker than I thought. But I think it was just maybe a quicker game of it, right? And he didn't get as many chances to go here. We'll find out, I suppose, in the future if I missed something along the way. But hey, either way, we're master gallerists at heart, aren't we? So there we go. Oh, it's, let's just make this... We'll just only stream the gallerist day. I love the gallerist so much. It's so nice coming back. Like, we did stream it basically... It wasn't quite a year ago. It was about nine months ago. But yeah, this is basically when I... The only time that I really come back to it. So mainly doing new games on here. It's so good. Still love it. I feel like you're achieving anything, just performing machinations. Haven't you have you not seen my lovely gallery? Machinations got to it, but look at it. It's beautiful. But there we go. So we will be back lacerdering again. You can you can see my very literal machinations in uh 
as the cars come out of the assembly line. We're back again at the same time tomorrow with Kanban EV, which, yeah, for, like, the gallerist, the challenge is to keep going with Master Gallerist, because I've done it plenty of times. Always when the game comes out again, I'm just like, I'm looking at the stuff that's out there and just thinking, oh, I've got no idea how I ever managed to come up with anything. It kind of comes together in the end in the gallerist. Kanban EV, on the other hand, as you're saying at the start, it's a different kind of solo. David Tortsy makes the solo modes now for Vsauce Games, and he is much more geared towards make the solo feel like you're playing the actual game against an actual opponent. So there's more involved. There is a web app now. I don't know. I don't think I used that last time that will help me, especially doing it live, help me make all their decisions correctly and stuff. But there is also, as there is in Weather Machine, a loss condition. So you can get sacked by Sandro when it comes to the end of the week meetings, if I'm remembering right. And I think in the playthrough, every time I've played it, but I think in the playthrough as well, I got sacked and just had to kind of go, well, let's pretend we didn't get sacked so we can see more of the game. That's how I've played it so far because, yeah, they're harsh and the solo opponents are backstabbing me, aren't they? But hopefully, especially with your health, we can uh, we can stay in it and maybe achieve some kind of rank. Yeah, Gallerist, it's Master Gallerist is the goal. Kanban, it is just not getting sacked and trying to do it right. But yeah, I hope you can join me again tomorrow. You can see it later, though, if you if you can't. As always, it's all up on the channel. I think now there are four playthroughs of the Gallerist, maybe? You've maybe seen spoilers on the of the score sheet of how that went. But maybe they go differently. I do tend to like... I do really like having influence. I'm sure that it would be just as viable having an absolute fortune in money as well to be playing with, getting the big bonuses out on here, not having to worry about selling as much, I suppose, never having to get a discount on these. Yeah, the manipulating the influence just seems so beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I will be back in 22-ish hours with some more Lacerda stuff. And yeah, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, there is Patreon, there is Kofi. Thanks for linking it in the chat. It's linked in the description as well. Your support will be massively appreciated, and it's how I'm able to do any of these things. Uh, so yeah, for now though, have a, have a lovely evening, and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for some more heavier, crunchier car manufacturing. And uh, yeah, I don't know what other points I thought I was going to make then. That was, that was the end of a sentence, wasn't it? Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs>